Okay, this one is the rotor question. It's an amusement park ride where a person walks in and uh, it's a barrel and it begins to spin and it, when it spins fast enough, they drop the floor and the person is uh, essentially hanging on the wall. They're, they're stuck to the wall due to friction force. So we're going to derive what's known as the rotor equation. So force of gravity always pointing downwards. Because the person's not sliding, okay, force friction goes upwards and prevents the person from sliding down when the floor is, is dropped. And again, these two will be equal to each other because there is no motion happening. So in this question, force of friction is equal to force of gravity. It's interesting to note that normal force then pushing this way perpendicular to the surface is actually caused by centripetal force. So we can label that force centripetal okay, and force normal. Those are synonymous. So remind ourselves that force centripetal does equal mv squared divided by r. Okay, so we will now plug that into this equation here. Force of friction, of course, is always force normal mu. That will equal m times g. Of course, normal, we will sub in mv squared divided by r. And we'll multiply that by mu equals mg. Simplifying the equation, the m's will cross off. And we'll solve for mu. Mu is equal to g times r divided by v squared.